What's up guys? So uh, today, big day all around, have multiple things going on. Gonna meet with the uh, pitching staff to go over basically the mechanics of arm care and how we work that, the, uh, the hierarchy there, the need. And then uh, I'm gonna meet with the whole staff and do a nutrition talk, which is what I'm currently prepared for right now. Get these guys a little bit fired up, give them some actual hands-on stuff that they can take and run it and apply right away. And that's kind of what the goal is for today. You ever just think to yourself like, damn, I'm electric? Yeah, I do. Often. Yeah, because I'm thinking that right now. A lot of guys got juice, but you got electricity? I got electricity. A wild card game we're wearing them. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, what are the thoughts on going through a little kind of mini warm-up, get them going? They've been, because of some skill work stuff, they've kind of been on their own from a stretching standpoint. <clears throat> So you want to run them through a little bit? We got about an hour. Laundry didn't get done. No, yeah, sir. No, <laughs> Listen, whatever we do, man, we'll work out to me. We'll line it back up, then we'll take it back. I'm going to get Yoder moving today. Easy stuff to start. Hands behind the head. We go lunge into lunge. No steps in between. All the way to me. Ready? Good. Keep cranking all the way to the foul line. Very good. Sink in the back knee. We'll go forwards, back. We spin, a spin, shuffle, and move. Very good. 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 Very good. Christian, Christian. No, not, not a hunt. All right, guys, here's how it's going to go. Hips up, hips down. We rotate, we crawl. Hips down, rotate only to your midline. Christian, arm up here. Good. Crawl. Good. Gain some ground. Back down. Good. Always flat back. Back here, right? So serratus is all turned on, activated, kicked on. No side to side with those hips, RJ. Quiet it down a little bit. Stay tabletop. That shit's hard. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. Don't get mad at me. I'm scared of you. Boom. Opposite arm, opposite leg moves. Good. Very important that we don't reach too far back. Listen, I want you to imagine there's a cup of coffee on your low back, and at no point can you spill that cup of coffee. Trishan, that's probably firing up that spot a little bit behind that scap, yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. Does it hurt or does it feel like shit? It's working. Good. Okay, good. Bang, dude, if you guys are getting a lot out of that, that's how you know. Like, yo, are those hips, boy? Woo! Woo! What do you sleep on, dude? Tree stand? Listen, when we do this, toes straight forward, knees out. It's very important we don't cheat front side hip, okay? So we're toes forward, knees out, we slide. Bang. Do it. Slide, 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 slide. Good. Relax for a second. Do it. Very good. Let's head right up on the turf. I want to do some hip mobility with you guys, but we'll do it in there so we're not friggin' soaked and covered in grass. Front hip at 90 degrees, back hip at 90 degrees. Now this is very important. When I go to take my chest over my shin, I'm not just folding, okay? I'm closing the gap between my belly and my leg. I'm gonna go IR, so we're gonna go the same kind of setup here, but we're working back hip IR. So we'll rotate away from our back hip. Now some of you guys might get a stretch right away. If you don't, let me know, and I'll fit you up. Drive this knee down, lift this foot up. Ready, go, hard, harder. Yeah, you feel that now? Hold that, hold that position. RJ, you getting something? A little bit. A little bit, here's how it works. Drive this knee, try to float that foot down. You feel that? Really? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, push down, drive up. Harder, harder, harder. I know you feel that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go, hold that position. Coach, it's like one to three minutes here. If you're just gonna do like a static stretch, yeah. we're gonna have some fun with these positions, guys. So once we get them, yeah. we stretch them, then we own them. But usually one hip will be tighter than the other. One internal rotation will be tighter than the other. One external rotation will be tighter than the other. It's totally okay. So we're gonna work on what we call a bear transition. You might see this on the internet. It's like 90, 90 transition, something like that. Doesn't matter, it's all the same. Front. The goal is to not move the feet. In the beginning, you might have to let them skip, like move a little bit, and that's okay. But the goal is to not move the feet. All we're gonna do is switch our knee position, hip position. So I go from one side. That's smooth right there. That's smooth. Listen, we're gonna go quadruped position, so tabletop here. Abs and butt squeeze tight, right? The same position we're working on that in that uh, bear cross, what we're working on here. We're gonna start, boom, long lever. Glute raise, so it'll go here, leg straight out to the side. We're just gonna float the foot and hold. Listen, it's not gonna come up that high. <clears throat> do not try to raise it high. If you do, you're gonna go this guy. No good. I want that only in the glute, okay, ready? Three, two, one, up. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Right there, hold that. Good, good. Drive this arm to the ground hard. Toe up a touch. Ooh, that's neutral. Fight that. Go. Yeah. Let's go bird dogs. All right, so here's how they work. Abs are squeezed tight, same, same thing. We're pressurizing a cylinder. Leg goes straight back, arm goes straight out in the fist. I pause, 
Just tuck, tuck that belt buckle up right there. Now hold that, Lucas. Better. I know that feels way different there. Good, make a fist with that hand. It's important. It's important. Get more rotator cuff with the fist than you do without it. Good. Look like this. Our knees are anchor point, our elbows are anchor point, not our feet. So don't try to do this thing. That's weird. That makes me <laughs> tough. All right, so knee drive down into the ground, elbow slightly out in front of shoulder. We pop the hips up, boom, I squeeze my glutes through in that order. So I'm kind of like rested and relaxed. I pop up, bang, my glutes come through. I'm tight here. My elbow's driving into the ground. All I want you to do is take your top leg, reach it, extend it straight out in front of you. Go not that far, just barely out in front of your other foot. And then take your other foot, bang, just behind it. Pop that hip up, boom, that's our side plank. Hard to try here, up, 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 good, good. Why are we firing the core free throw? Why, why? why are you doing side plank? Oh, right? otherwise you're not gonna get any transitional force. Right, yeah. So whether it's, whether it's a side plank, whether it's a J-band dead bug. All right? of that stuff. Everything or, is yeah. intended to do what? It's to help transfer force, right? right. So what is, the, what is the role of the anterior core to help transfer force and minimize movement that we don't want, right? So I don't want to be a top, but I do want to get force out of my lower half as I get going downhill. And I can't transfer that force if I'm not activated and ready and acclimated to do it. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Serious shoulder split. Yes. That's crank awesome. down and yeah. into fracture. Yeah. Right? Tra so, that, low tra that right trap is significantly more Significantly pressed. lower, right? Yeah. And if you kind of see here. Which we, is common in, in, in these. Yeah, but it's side. not common to have. Right, I know. But not, I know. you know. So that's the issue, right? <clears throat> so you can see it. It's angled. Yep. The shirt almost goes with it. Yeah. 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 So you can see the angle here. Yep. Like a little bit of a down slope. Yep. It's what Weeks this, had last year. It's almost negative. This is uh, it Literally, it's what Weeks look like. Yeah. We. So this is multiple issues, right? Yeah. But we always start, which is going to be a concept for today. We always start spine out. Okay. Right. Central then out. Right. So I can deal with this depressed shoulder. But there's a reason the shoulder's depressed, and it starts here. Right. Right. So we'll work Both on that first. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we'll work on that first. Inferior border of the scap. Yes. Significantly low. I mean. Yeah. Significantly lower. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty low. Right. We know we got T-spine that doesn't move, doesn't rotate. Yes. Right. Yes. And, so, we, yep. and we and we know we got lumbar spine that loves to move and rotate. Right. Right. So. Uh, which is great, really simple stuff. We're gonna feed the T-spine mobility, we're gonna feed the, the lumbar spine anterior core, I really should say, we're gonna feed that some stability, try to get back into neutral, and then work out. I understand this, camera, um, the same exercise, coach differently, can serve a different purpose. Yes, it's true. So, like, if you have a guy who, like this, depressed scap, needs a little, needs to get fed a little bit more upward rotation, things right. that force him into that range, well, you could coach it that way, versus you have somebody who maybe can't control up top or, or has some type of dynamic motor control issue above their arm, you can coach it a different way with, with holds, with different things. And not only that, you know, with him, <clears throat> the way I'm gonna coach is gonna be a little different than what I did with the other guy, because now not only do I wanna reach, but I actually want a little bit of a shrug at the top too. To try to lengthen what's going on back Yeah, there. Okay. yeah, so again, same exercise, coach different ways, serves yeah. a different purpose. Think about like tweaks, I don't like injury. When I think about tweaks, I think about, hey, like anything we're gonna do, we have to start by getting the pain out, mm -hmm. right? So we have to uh, reduce that pain level, that pain threshold first before we can actually do anything else, right? Yeah. I want you to hug yourself tight. You're gonna feel your scaps literally get out of the way. Hey. You're gonna pick your hips up if you're cool and then it. roll from there all the way up. Oh, all the way back down, good. Yeah, you feel that? Mm -hmm. You're gonna spend some time there. Don't make that pain face. <laughs> there you go. Keep cranking, I'll tell you when to stop. So here now, T-spine extension. So what I want is elbows locked out. Okay, that's gotta be firm. Chest drive yeah. down towards the ground. You're gonna inhale, fill your belly up. Feeling it against the quad, same way we were talking about with that stretch earlier. Exhale through the mouth, drive the chest. <laughs> it's important, Christian, drive the chest, not the head. Does that make sense? I don't want you to crank into your neck flexors, I want you to use the upper back to flex you down, okay? Drive down. Good. <laughs> Keep cranking. You're gonna do 20 breaths here. It's kind of hard to think. It's like a harder thing to feel when. Good. He's carrying a lot of tension on that side, like we were just talking about. He's literally doing this stretch without thinking about it, leaning away from it, trying not to stretch it. Not him like doing it. Yeah, just the body's. The, the body's. The body's like, nah, fuck that. That shit's tight over there. I'm going over here. Ribs down. Take this other hand. You're gonna monitor where the ribs are in space. I want you to press up and out. Okay. Reach at the top and give me just a little bit of a shrug. Back down, boom. 
Good. Eyes up. Make sure we're not cranking the neck down. Elbow to my hand. Good. Press back out. Bang. Little shrug and reach. You feeling that? Yeah. So those are things to work on. It's getting some progressive uh, actual soft tissue work on the T-spine. T-spine extension, T-spine rotation, getting back away from depression. Yeah, man, so I just showed him a whole bunch of stuff to do. Okay. He knows what he needs to do. Do you have any questions? You're pretty good on that? Do you yeah, understand it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And that's daily, obviously. Yeah, before and after. Before and after. Okay. Yep. He's good to have a catch uh, tomorrow. Okay. And then probably good for the slope on Tuesday if that's what you're planning. I wasn't sure what you're planning. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll figure that out early next week for sure. Yeah. You guys want to sneak her up? Sneak her? Yeah. All right. Just sneak her. I mean, <coughs> med ball work's gonna go like this. <coughs> We're going medial hop to med ball scoop. So, start med ball here at the hip. I get up on one leg, very important. The hop has got to come from this back side. Boom, I'm through the wall, okay? As my front side hits the ground, I'm pulling knee and hip back into me, establishing big firm front side, okay? <coughs> rotation from the low, ribs down, abs are tight. We'll rotate back, I want to pause. We're back down, boom, back up, okay? We'll get 12. Cool, where you at? Shit. Boom, blue band, ribs down, we'll press out, little pause. Back in, back out, we'll get 12 each side, okay? So we got sixes there, 12s here for everybody. Make sense? Cool, last thing, we'll come over. We'll go bird dogs, we can work on the warm up. We're doing three each side, everybody's in. Abs and butter squeeze tight. I reach out, I pause. That three count pause is important. Three, two, one, I'm back down. I'm back up, never touching down, always hovering. Establishing that cylinder, holding it the whole way. Cool? Back down, slow, controlled, back up, slow, controlled, back down, slow. Control. Good. Good. There you go. Break that shit, Yoder. Ah! Yoder working, baby! Christian, that's good. Listen, don't cut it. Stay palm under. Get the elbow up higher. Okay, in the back side. Elbow up, elbow up. Yeah, there. It's gonna feel a little weird. There it is. Better. Better. Three side, three second hold. Thanks, sir. You're the man. Good, RJ. Don't be in a rush. Straight back, straight back, straight back. Good. That's way better. Very good adjustment. Let's get it, Lucas. Aggressive through that wall. Good, as that front side hits the ground, bang, back into me, right? Firm it up, good. I know, yeah, start it out in front. Float it out in front first, then hop, yep, good. That was better. Better try to firm up that front side, I know it's weird. Good, good, better, not losing that position. Back in, very good. Good, RJ's almost, that met ball's almost gone, baby. Almost gone, finisher. That boy, finish him. Good. Boy, Biggie. There you go. Now we got it. Dude, this one's so key for you, big dog. Let it eat, Biggs. Let's go. Knock that thing down. Come on. Press it through. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm looking for. Good. So, again, we're just counteracting what's going on. Right. That's great. Great job. Thanks. Oh, nothing. Thank you. No, <laughs> That's electric stuff right there. So I guess the arm feels good then, huh? Yeah, it's not bad. So like, you have a medical diagnosis, right? Yeah. And you have a movement diagnosis. So we are talking in terms of any kind of bump, bruise, injury stuff, right? The, my job is to bridge the gap between the medical diagnosis and the movement diagnosis. So if you're like, hey, I'm sore, I have a knot, this or that, and, and whatever the medical right. staff says, hey, you have a knot. You know, well, that's great. My job is like, hey, where's the movement faulty? and where can I correct it so we don't continually have that. Gotcha. And then how fast you can get out of pain is, is really on them, but I'm, I'm, I'm assisting with that, but right. yeah. And the medical diagnosis is you then. You're right. saying, hey, exactly. I have this knot, or yeah. I have this feeling of tension, right? I have this adhesion, this, this tensionous area. Right. right, and then my job is like, hey, that's great. Yeah. You know, we can show you some little stuff, some self-myofascial, yeah. help you get out of pain help it feel looser, like it works, but then I have to say, hey, what's making that happen and how can I get it to not be a chronic is issue? Yeah. 